All right, Essendon. Ah, <laughs> oh, Last year, 7-15, and 15, yep. gross year, horrible. They bring in a new coach. The over-under of 10.5. The other Scott. Uh, yeah, so explain to me how this team is four wins better than last year. I they can't. I literally can't. Oh, I can't That's as well, yeah. Thing I was like, I've written down here. Where do they find their four wins from? Their defense sucks. Yep. Uh, they had a lot of close losses. I was having a look, though, if you have yeah, a few of those close wins. I'm still yeah just under, but I think yeah. they can get at least – Two or three more wins this they, year. They I snuck think, a win against the Swans last year when the Swans were playing awful in that middle part of the year. Yeah. Like so, there's you take sort of that one out, and you're like, okay, they've got to find five wins. You got your stars, I think, in each end of the. You got Peter Wright, who was up there in the Coleman. I they think made up Peter. I love him, and then you've got a great midfield in Merritt and Parish as well. So it's not like great. Oh, a very, very, very solid handy? midfield. Yeah, handy? I'd say handy. I, I think, wouldn't say I great. I think they can beat a lot of midfields in the AFL. Is what I'm trying to say, but. But they don't have the depth at all. Their like defense they're, they're stinks. Up. Yeah, and their defense is average. The so. depth thing is a problem for me as well. Like, I looked at, I remember looking at this list and then looking at um, like someone like West Coast. Yeah. And you go, it's the same thing, right? Where you have like very a similar, specific, yeah. specific amount of veterans who are very clearly pretty good, yep. decent. And then you just lack that sort of next level of dudes who are just yep. there, who mm. are really like just solid and yeah. they just don't have it. So, um, like the 16th for points conceded last year. Like I, I don't see them turning it around. Ten and, ten and, and, half. and a half wins. Absolutely half. not. Under. I'm under. going under just, just there. Way under. I've got it actually at nine. They've got an easy fixture. I think the, this got, is it. Yeah. The fixture's pretty it's easy. It's very I think. easy. So I think. Did the, you see how they played in that <laughs> practice match? It's a practice match. Uh, we take nothing from like practice, practice matches. matches. Yeah, I know. But if you stink that bad in a practice <laughs> match, I'm going to pay attention. Fair enough. I've got them nine and 14. I think they're a little bit better than last year. I think they just have a little bit more coherency probably about them with the new coach under Brad Scott. As they try to figure it out, I think they get better at times throughout the season and they just look inconsistent. Yes, they could. But have flashes, That's what I reckon, get yeah. you to nine wins. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go 10 wins. Just I think they've got a very easy fixture. I, I, yeah, it can beat a lot of teams at home that are like lower on the ladder, I think. And yeah, so I'm going 10 wins, but still under the 10 and a half. Every game of the G though, like do they win? Which ones do they well, win? Well, it says well, their, their, nah, record, their oh, home record last year was 5 and 11. Yeah, away, they were 2 and 9, but that doesn't account into what away games are at the MCG. Yeah, yeah, well. I think they beat Hawthorne, yeah. Did you? I bet other other games of the G. Like, no, what do they win? No, they won't because the games of the G. They are beat all the, the ones of the G yeah. last year. They played so Geelong and you know. the G and Collingwood. I don't think they can win those. So yeah, it's tough. Yeah, in the D's. Yeah, I think yeah, I've got them six or seven wins in like fourteenth or fifteenth. Tough. Yeah, right. Tough year ahead for the Bombers. <laughs> <laughs>